Bitcoin boom. Right now we are all hearing the different cryptocurrencies and the things that are happening with them that are arriving to the market and people getting excited about the opportunities there. But Bitcoin has been a constant in this market for a while. And it has become so popular that it's causing concern for electrical grids in some states. But let's back it up and start from the beginning. What is Bitcoin? Here we go. It is a form of cryptocurrency, which is a digital form of money or currency, which is usually called a coin. Bitcoin is known as the original form of cryptocurrency, and right now it is the most valuable. In April of 2021, one Bitcoin was worth more than $60,000, but those prices fluctuate quite a bit. And creating more coins or mining them takes a lot of energy. Blockchain systems essentially serve as a digital ledger. Most of the time, they have used uh, that to track Bitcoin activity and transactions. So now that we know what it is, how does Bitcoin work? I'm the perfect person to explain this to you. PJ Randwa explains. Unlike most familiar currencies like the U.S. dollar issued by the government, Bitcoin isn't tied to or controlled by any nation. That means you can buy, sell and exchange Bitcoin directly with very low fees and no banks needed. It's exclusively online, no coins or paper involved. It looks like a bunch of numbers. Think of it as a computer file you can store in a digital wallet that you can access on your smartphone or computer. Every Bitcoin transaction ever made is on a public online ledger, which experts say is pretty much tamper proof. All right, so here we go. People in their 20s and 30s are losing more money to crypto investment scams than any other form of fraud, according to the FTC. Americans have lost $80 million in cryptocurrency scams since last October. The average consumer losing $1,900. So the long story short here, it's a hit or lose situation with Bitcoin, but it's essential to make sure that you get into new ways of making and managing money. You want to be sure to do your research and protect your privacy.